Hello dreamers and welcome to Jones Family Travels where we talk about all kinds of travel tips and tricks and follow along with our family travels. Today we are going to talk about some of the dangers you may encounter during your Florida vacation. Some may be not so dangerous, more irritating, but some you definitely need to watch out for when you come to Florida. And we're going to talk to you about how to avoid those dangers and what to watch for on your next Florida visit. Be sure to click that red subscribe button and give us a thumbs up for this dangerous video we have for you today. As a Floridian and a former ocean lifeguard, our first tip is about the Atlantic Ocean. On the east coast of Florida sits the Atlantic Ocean. Many visitors come to this side of Florida for the larger waves to surf and boogie board. There are several things you should know before you go to the Florida beaches. One of these things is to watch for rip tides. Rip tides or rip currents will literally pull you out into the ocean. This can be super scary for kids and adults. Most beaches in Florida will have flags at the entrance to the beaches, along with a sign. If you do not know what the flag means or the color stands for, read the sign next to the flag. If the water is rough, this is a good sign that there may be strong rip currents or rip tides. If you're not comfortable with the conditions of the ocean, stay in the more shallow waters and teach your family how to handle a riptide. With riptides, the current carries you out to the ocean very quickly. Once you realize you are in a current, swim parallel to the beach until you no longer feel the current pulling you out. Then swim back to the beach. Never try to fight the current by swimming directly back towards the beach. Living in Florida, we become used to wildlife, like alligators and snakes. Allison grew up on a lake and many times almost stepped on an alligator or a snake right in her backyard. In Florida, be prepared to see alligators in every body of water. This includes ponds, lakes, springs, ditches, and retention ponds. If you see a body of water in Florida, it's more than likely that an alligator or more than one alligator lives in that body of water. Do not swim in any lake unless it has an open swimming area. Always swim with your kids. Do not let them swim by themselves. In addition, do not let your kids walk close to the edge of any body of water. Same goes for small pets. I know Florida is known as the sunshine state, but did you know half of the year is actually considered hurricane season? Hurricane season runs from June 1 through November 30th every year. The peak hurricane season typically runs between August and September. If you are planning a Florida beach vacation during hurricane season, be prepared for possible cancellations and evacuations. We recommend adding trip insurance onto your vacation to help prepare for potential cancellations during hurricane season. For Central Florida visitors, you are in the perfect location. When we get evacuated from the beaches, we go to Disney World. You can click on the eye in the sky to see our experience at Disney World during a hurricane. Most hurricanes last for about a day, so you can still enjoy the rest of your vacation. Since we are surrounded by water in Florida, we do get a lot of bugs. One of the worst is the mosquito. Mosquitoes come out during the day, but are most active in the evening hours. Be sure you pack bug spray and apply it throughout the day and evening hours. Over the summer months, expect rain every afternoon, especially inland like Orlando. The rain normally lasts an hour or two and then clears up. If you are visiting a theme park, just shelter inside until the storm passes. You'll be surprised how many people leave when a storm hits. It clears out the park, leaving everything just for you. Besides rain, we have wicked lightning. Central Florida is the lightning capital of the world. More people are struck by lightning in Florida than anywhere else in the United States. I know a lot of visitors coming to Florida do not realize lightning is deadly. If you see lightning and hear thunder, you should find shelter. We recommend the app called Weatherbug. There is a lightning map to keep you posted of nearby lightning. Florida is surrounded by water, but the water is very different. 
On the east coast of Florida is the Atlantic Ocean. This is where you will find the larger waves, perfect for body surfing, boogie boarding, and surfing. On the west coast of Florida is the Gulf of Mexico. This water tends to be more calm with smaller waves. The Gulf of Mexico is perfect for families with younger children. This is also a favorite spot to watch for dolphins and porpoise. It does rain a lot in Florida in spite of being the sunshine state. Be prepared for slick roads during and after rainstorms. If you are driving in Florida during or after rainstorms, take extra care. The oil from the cars falls on the asphalt. When it rains, this turns the asphalt slick. As a Floridian, I have experienced this firsthand. If you have two-wheel, rear-wheel drive, take extra care during a Florida rainstorm. Certain areas of Florida, you will see a lot of jellyfish. You may see them on the water or on the land. Stay clear of the jellyfish. They can sting you in the water or on the land. They look cool, but make sure to tell everyone in your family to keep their distance. I am excited to share a Floridian tip with you. This one tip will help you keep cool during the hot weather in Florida. Find shade. Yep, that is my tip. You'd be amazed how much cooler it is when you stand in the shade versus directly in the sun. This will help you prevent heat stroke and sunburn during your days in Florida. Besides finding shade, be sure you use a lot of sunblock during your vacation in Florida. You'll always want to remember to reapply. One application won't last all day. Since Florida is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean and the warm Gulf of Mexico, we get a lot of humidity. Florida is actually considered the most humid state in the United States. The reason it is tough is because Florida has not only hot temperatures, but also high humidity. This makes everything feel much hotter. To beat the heat and humidity, explore early in the morning. Take an afternoon break during the hottest part of the day between noon and 2 p.m. at your resort, vacation home, or find an indoor attraction. Then begin exploring again in the evening hours when it begins to cool down. You'll also want to drink a lot of water to stay hydrated. Hopefully you learned something from today's video about some things that may irritate you and some things that could be dangerous during your next Florida visit. Be sure to click the red subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can keep up with all of our latest travel information. And if you got something out of this video, be sure to click that thumbs up. And as always, keep on dreaming. Love you all.